Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2. This is episode 15. In the last episode, we checked out these headquarters that Carla gave us information about and sent us here, and we did loads of sort of classic survival horror sort of key item -ness to get you. We found a flip switch after doing a ton of exploring. So let's see how this turns out. Um. Oop. Let there be light. Huh? Now it's the clock? The clock, you say? How do you know? <laughs> How do you know, sir? I thought that would have been the end, to be honest. That's why I left it there. Maybe not. I get it now. Go to the third I'll try the th yeah, come on. Third floor. I'm loving this place, though. I love sort of spooky mansions and stuff. Can't go over there. Ooh, jukebox. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Right, what are we looking... Ooh. Looking for. <laughs> Talisman of Mercy. That's a good find. Another door. Yeah, seems to be it. Massive pool table, or snugger table, but not a whole lot to do with it. <laughs> Nothing, in fact. Next battle, I'll use that talisman, but... I mean, I think it's one of those talismans that increase stats, right? I think it is. I don't want to use a revival one. I always get them all mixed up. Okay, you know what? I'll use a tent and then I'm going to save. Okay. I didn't use a tent after I used a couple of mana leaves instead. Alright, it's a big old room, but I imagine it's the end. It's like a torture chamber, medieval style. End of the line. What's that from? Final destination? There isn't anybody here. Maybe Roger isn't here? I guess we better look for him somewhere else. Yeah. It's like chasing after Sephiroth all over again. Never where you want him to be. You never find him. Well, for a long time. Look! Did Granny send us here to be killed again? <laughs> well, either way, we got to kill this boss. Right, so what's he called? Janus. Like the Gemini? Is he the Gemini boss? Because a lot of them seem to have that sort of theme going from. Um, He looks like he's dark type, but I don't want to risk it quite yet. Oh, some... Nah, it is a bit of physical defense, but it's not too bad. Okay, so what should we go for? Okay, blah, blah. Go up, just attack for now. I want to see what sort of thing he can do before going too far out of my way to do combos or elements or, you know? But I think Bright Light might be good. He's got physical attacks right now though, he's Grand Papillon! Whoa, nearly 100 damage in one, one swoop. Wow, that's... Wow. <laughs> One more hit and she's dead. I will go for... Not Bright Light, but Holy Cast. She can heal herself. I get the impression he's going to be weak to Light, so... Hmm. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be. going. Once I've healed up, I might try a combo. But it depends on what he does next. So. Heal yourself, woman. Probably didn't need the, the red area. But. Ooh, oh, bright light. So maybe it is a light type, even if it doesn't look like it. Wow, no. So maybe I need to use... We haven't got any dark magic, have we? Uh, oh yeah, we should do, actually. Somebody should do. Evil Ray. I'm going to try it. See if it does a ton of damage. Oh, close. See? That wasn't that much either, so maybe it haven't got an elemental weakness. Oh, 
Maybe. Let's keep it up. It seems to be doing a lot of damage, but it's always hitting one character, so... Who really cares? <laughs> we can just heal up at once every turn. So far, anyway. So far. Bright light. Wow. I didn't expect it to do so much damage against our magic user. But, you know what? I think it's combo time. So over to the one who's going to attack last. That's normally the way I do it. I don't know if it matters. But, you know. And here we go. We should be able to get a good old combo out now. So I'm going to kick things off with maybe... Maybe this to do as much damage as possible with the first hit. I think he's in red health, the boss. With one really good combo now, maybe we can do a shit ton of damage. Like enough to kill it off. I guess you we, yeah. Um, just attack for now. Oh. Uh, yeah, Geppetto, whoever really. Aquacast? We've tried Holy Cast and it wasn't that effective. I'd like to unlock another doll, but as it is right now, I, I just haven't found the icon. Oh, there we go, done. Combos are really good. I need to, I need to try starting them earlier in the fight, I think. It's making a sort of SPN an issue at all. Oh, a new card, Justice. Not that we're using her, but... Still. I think we just... Did we just get enough soul to... To get the level 2 of everything in the graveyard? That's odd. There's no one here at all. Weird. Where could they be hiding the old man? <laughs> Is everyone okay? We're fine. I think I'm okay. <laughs> as hard-headed as usual, I see. Nikolai. What are you up to? Nice to see you, Lieutenant. You too, Godslayer. Yo! Well, let's see. It's been two months since the mistletoe's curse, and you still look quite normal. It didn't work. It's a load of crap. Somebody needs to teach him manners. The one you're looking for is no longer here. What? St. Marguerite Island. We're holding him there. St. Marguerite? Godslayer. Get me the emigre manuscript. Do that, and I'll give you bacon. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. You most certainly do know. It contains the secret of life. You used it to achieve your victory. Afterwards, you and Bacon took it and hid it away somewhere. That much I already know. <laughs> I don't know if bacon is worth doing anything bad for. 
You can, you can buy it at a supermarket, it's not gonna... <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's heal up a little bit. Probably won't need to, we're going to a town, but you never know, Leo. And save. That was an easy boss, so I think we're doing pretty well. Level-wise. It feels like it, at least. Uh, before we do anything else, we're going to go to the graveyard and sort out our, our other elements up to level 2. And then until we get soul drops, there's not much else we can do, so I'm just going to level like a little bit. And the levels go up to level 10, if you were wondering. Level 10 for each element. 3 in you, and then 10 on personal. I don't know what it's actually called. I'm just calling it on personal. <laughs> You up, water leveled up. Not that we're even using them, but I like to do it anyway for for the sake of it. Marai Soul. Yeah. The thing is, even if we did find the drops, the soul drops, we have to fight an enemy or like an optional mini boss sort of thing. Every time we do it, like in the first game, every time we upgrade to the final level. So I mean. You need to be like level, Yuri needs to be like level 30-ish in order to do that, so. It's not like we can do anything about it yet, so we've got plenty of time to collect some more soul energy and all that stuff. Avexis. What's the last element? Ah, Earth. I wish there was like a scan spell in this game where you can determine what element the boss is and stuff like that, but I haven't seen one. Maybe there's a quest later on that lets you have one. Maybe we should start going back to the Solomon. It's called the Solomon Key. And putting some quests in there, because we found quite a few since the last time we did it. But and you get some really good rewards, like loads of spells for for quests that wouldn't normally learn those spells. But for now, I just don't feel the need for it. We're doing pretty well already. Anyway, back to Florence. I guess we're going to see the, the old woman. Yeah, I see. Sounds like the society really won't stop at anything anymore. Just what kind of secret does this emigre manuscript hold anyway? Well, Nikolai said you knew. Here's the deal. He didn't mention the name of the manuscript though, did he? So how do we know... How did Geppetto know of it? Ten years ago, three ancient tomes were stolen from the Vatican. The Pulse Tract, which incarnates a god from the soul of the Earth. The Rillier Text, with the power to summon a god from beyond the stars. And the emigre manuscript, which creates life from death. Because each one has the power to warp the very fabric of existence, the books have been widely sought after over the years. And many tragedies resulted from that search. Alright, so all three of them we saw in the first game, yeah? I got my hands on those three books by chance six months ago when I fought that god. It wasn't long ago, was it? Time wise. When the battle was over, Roger and I secretly sealed the books away where they'd be safe. But Nikolai wants us to get them back from being sealed. That dangerous, eh? And do you remember where you sealed this emigre manuscript away? It's hardly something I'd forget, but I was in favour of burning them and being done with the whole affair myself. We hid the emigre manuscript in the great Nemeton Fisher. Don't tell it. Don't say we're going to go and unseal them like dicks. Nemeton? You mean that desolate spot in Wales? <laughs> or you could just say, you mean that spot in Wales? Or, you mean Wales? That's right, and it won't be easy to go down there. That place is crawling with evil and monsters. Sounds like a challenge. I'd love to see a place like that. 
You make it sound like a walk in the park, but this is serious business. We could get ourselves killed. Hmm. Oh, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Lucia, you know you're slow. Promise me you'll be careful. And if anything happens, save yourself at least. She's a bit ditzy. HP and MP fully restored. Oh, nice. Could we have done that before? I don't think so. Hmm. I want another character with like a million SP. We got two. Okay, so. That's that done. Let's get out of here. I'll save point for that. Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. Oh, wait, let me check something. We might not be using it, but I would like to know what our card does. Justice. Lucy is downed and heals all unconscious members fully. So she gets killed, but it revives everyone to full HP. That's it is pretty good. It's just situational. Not that first on that. Where do we go then? Oh, Wales. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Desolate spot in Wales. It's a post box. That's pretty desolate, right? I bet there's not many letters in that one. What's a mailbox doing here? Mm, nice mailbox. Hey, don't go getting any ideas. That belongs to someone. Get it? Oh, it's a new weapon, is it? Hey. Mm, I really want this mailbox. <laughs> what? Yeah, he, 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 um, he's having a new mailbox. <laughs> he's taking it. That's called stealing, you know. Stealing. Never mind that. Uh, when you're supposed to be a hero. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem to care. Let's see how much it increases his stats by. That's interesting to find. Let's have a locker. Ooh. 40 more attack. 12 more special attack. I don't use him for magic, but is it a. Pocket watch. Panic. Increased defense. Oh, no. Well, yeah, there we go then. I don't really know where we're meant to be going now. Um, could go back in here. Ooh, a trash chest that we missed. How did I manage to miss that? Or is it only now appeared? A rope ladder is only now appeared. I'm guessing now that we've got the rope ladder. We can go up here a bit, and there'll be a new way to go, maybe? It looks like just a dead end, but it's a chasm, so maybe. Yeah! And that reminds me of Legend of Dragoon, it, when you're in that first sort of forest area where you get the axe and make a log bridge. I, I don't know why he reminds me of that. Might be a little dangerous, but this ladder ought to do the trick. There we go. Oh, we're going down. I thought we would be crossing the chasm with it for some reason. Like a rope bridge rather than a ladder, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to... Hmm. The map made it look like you could go back in the dungeon rather than climb up the, the ladder. To me. Alright. Is there anything else to do here? Trust chest? I mean, I feel like this is going to be a mazy sort of area. Face guard. So is that important? Helmet developed in Europe increases defense power. So you can't have a face guard and a leather cap. Alright, that's good. I think I'd give it to Geppetto. 52. Yeah, he could do with a bit more defense, right? And I am going to save. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we check out... <laughs> this extra dungeon in Wales. See you in a bit, folks. Actually, do you know what? I think we've got a couple of minutes before I could wrap it up, I guess. So we're going to go across to <clears throat> Solomon's Key and check out a bit of this. We won't be doing anything past this, so if you're not interested, uh, you know, we're done. <laughs> but I want to try. Ah, by you, there's only five crests, so this should be a 
good one, right? Chant in C. Okay. Ah, oh, we finally got fight four, but this strong tan man he used to live in the desert, but was banished to an island in Enchanted Sea for treachery. An island. None of them really look like an island to me. That looks a bit more like an island. Let's replace them all. Lives close to Vepa, an art level, talks to demons in other areas. That doesn't say anything to me. So we'll go for tending to drown near a whirlpool. That's definitely this one. I would think. Strong time man used to live in desert but was banished to an island in enchanting sea. Could be that. That's islandish, volcano-ish as well. Could be that. That's sort of island. We'll check a bit there for now. Close to Vepa. Um, okay, I think I know where that might go. Giant demon cloaked in rain clouds. Rules water and controls tired storms at will, but he is powerless on land. Uh, yep, yeah, that's him, the demon. And this is near Vepa, I would think. So we just need one more to finish that off. That's done. Hmm. Only got four in this load, so I'm not going to bother with that yet. One, two, three, four, five. So it's only five, and we got them all, so we can do this now. Head of a snake, calf, and man. Appears riding a blue snake. Adores fire. Lives in the burning oil fields. So, burning oil fields? Sounds like they. Uh, Phantasmagoric devil who appears as an ever shifting cloud of dust. Flame desert whirlwinds of manifestations of Amy. Okay, so up there. That was pretty obvious. Dark man in leopard skin lives in the south of the flame desert where he yearns for the lush forest beyond. South of the flame desert. So it's would say Pale man with a serpent's tail. He can make himself and others fly. He loves death. Lives by the boneyard in the north. North. Boneyard in the north. Maybe? Uh, red. Demon of elegant habits. He lives by the desert's oasis. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Another one done. Entrance has been newly added to the Amy Crest. Evil Ray to Belleth. Cure to Bathin, so we can have a third cure spell. Okay. A third cure spell is all I really care about there. Uh, to close and resides in the Boneyard's only mansion. So he's going to be there regardless of anything else. We need to find more crests, don't we? Let's try and do a bit by ya. Pierce is an old wise man with withered legs, lives by the sea, rides crocodiles when travelling. Master of Morphin. Lives by the sea. I don't see any water anyway. There's more than five. I thought there were only five. I'm going to leave that one for now. Very mistrustful, always afraid of attack, lives with the soldiers in the solid tower by the woods. Solid tower by the woods. Ah, I, okay, so by yeah. Muscular man with a lion's head lives in the mansion in the middle of the hill. He and his neighbour Phoenix visit each other. Mansion by the hill. His neighbour Phoenix. Oh no. Middle of the hill. I mean, I would say this one. But I don't know. Giant crow talons dripping blood. The, be the beat of the wings causes earthquakes. He lives. He likes the forest demons and lives nearby. Not sure. So this one's going to be a bit tougher, I guess. For me, at least. Okay, that's about all we can do. We need to find some more... Find some more crests. So now I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> this has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you again in a bit. When we actually check this place out. In a bit, folks.